Today is just another day for Noor Ahmad in Kabul. He deep fries sambosas, a local favorite, hoping to sell them for iftar, the breaking of fast during Ramadan. He does not care whether the foreign forces stay or go. The withdrawal will not impact our daily lives. No Americans or foreigners buy my food, only Afghans buy it. So far, everything is going on as usual. The United States and its allies have officially started withdrawing forces from Afghanistan and handing over operations to their Afghan counterparts. Some, like Ahmad, are indifferent. But the move to withdraw forces has sent shockwaves through large segments of society. Right now, all Afghan women are concerned, really concerned. We wish the international community would do something about protecting us. We fear things will go back to the past. The past is when the Taliban ruled Afghanistan and women had few rights. Since then, the country has made huge strides. The new Afghanistan is marked with an explosion of media and entertainment options and an abundance of college-educated young people and working women. The international community has promised to stay engaged with the country after foreign forces are out. But Taliban have increased their attacks on the government and Afghan security forces in the past year. And peace negotiations between Taliban and the Afghan government have stalled. Confidence in the Afghan security forces and their ability to hold back the Taliban is low. Many, including senior U.S. Okay. officials, fear fighting will intensify and make cities vulnerable to a Taliban takeover. The government is trying to ease concerns. Last week, it gave media outlets a tour of the Special Operations Forces base, complete with guns blazing and tanks firing. We expect uh, the same thing, fighting, the intense fighting, but we are ready for that. It's our country. Uh, we will uh, fight till the end and we will eliminate his uh, terrorists from Afghanistan. Tough words that many, particularly young people, say provide little comfort. Many say even a negotiated political settlement with the Taliban will likely lead to a rollback of rights gained over two decades. In the worst case, they fear a return to the 1990s, when a bloody, multi-year civil war led to a Taliban military takeover of Kabul. As people go about their daily lives, walking around the streets, shopping for Eid, the apparent normalcy hides the nervousness of a nation anxious about its future. Aisha Tanzim, BOA News, Kabul.